So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your bike going from dirty like that to nice and clean like that. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to clean your bike, as I said at the start. We're going to be using muck off products. So these products are pretty much top of the line. They're very well known and very well commended. So I put my bike clean into three steps. Cleaning, degreasing, and protecting. Right, so to start with the cleaning, we just want to rinse the bike off with a nice musty sort of spray like this. So after the hose is popped on you and you've sprayed this down with your spray gun a couple times, we'll move on to the next step. Alright, so this step is probably the most important. You want to get your muck off or soap, sort of the pinky solution stuff. If you're looking to buy it and you just want to spray the bike down make sure it gets nice and covered be generous all right so after you've covered your bike in muck off solution you just want to get a brush like this and start scrubbing all around these dirty areas to clean it up don't worry about your rotors because this solution in particular doesn't actually do anything to them so it's fine, it won't contaminate the brakes or anything. So yeah, don't worry about any of that stuff. Alright, so when you're using this brush, you really want to get in everywhere. You want to, what I do is I tend to put a bit of muck off actually on the brush. So it can really scrub into that front of the nooks and crannies out. It's, if it's a hot day and the bike seems to be drying out, just wet it a bit more to get that muck off solution really working into those little nooks of dirt and everywhere else not doing this straight after your ride like i am the dirt might just be really dried out and hard so this is where this brush comes in this brush is a little bit harder and sort of separates into two pieces so you can really get into those little bits like here like all inside the suspension all like that on the rims as well this is really good for spokes even on the drive train, but I'd just be making sure that there's not too much grease on there. Just okay. So after you've soaked it in your muck off solution, you just want to sort of drench all the most of it off because we're still going to put a bit more on after this with the with the um, sponge. So yeah, don't be too worried, don't be too picky because we'll get most the rest of the dirt off with the sponge. All right. So next we move on to probably one of my favourite muck off products. It's this sponge. It just looks like a normal sponge, doesn't it? A normal pink sponge, but it really is not. It is special, trust me. Okay, so you just want to put a few squirts of muck off solution in this, and then just sort of rub it in like that. Squeeze it all around. And then you just want to come over to your bike and just start getting in all those nooks and crannies. Everywhere in there, just like that. Getting all that sort of stuff that you missed out. Rims as well, everywhere. I'd just stay away from the drivetrain because you don't want to get your grease on it. So derailleur and everything, just be careful not getting it too deep in there. Underneath your um, frame as well, that's where a lot of dirt comes. Forks as well. So after you're pretty sure you've got most of the dirt off, you really just want to rinse it off with sort of the same tool that I was using before which is just this, I don't know, this sort of thing. You want to have reasonably high power, stand a couple meters away and just sort of really get everything off of it. Use your hands if you need to. Just make sure that muck off solution's off. Alright, so after you've pretty much cleaned all the muck off solution off your bike, you just want to grab a tea towel. A tea towel or a rag, it doesn't really matter, just as long as it can dry the bike. You just want to sort of pat it down. You'll be surprised how much dirt you can actually get off by just wiping the bike down and after that we'll move on to the second stage which is degreasing now we move into the second stage which is degreasing i'm just going to do a light degrease but i'll make a video in the future on how to fully degrease and regrease your drivetrain this stuff here muck off drivetrain cleaner it really does some good magic you've got to be careful not to get it on your rotors though so if you've got anything sort of that can get in between your rotors and stop that formula from getting there it really does help I just use a tea towel, but they do make sort of disc covers. So if you want to buy them, you might as well do so. It'll probably be a great investment and save you from having to get a new set of pads and discs. Really do want to show you how important this is because if you muck this step up, you'll be costing hundreds of dollars depending on what brakes you've got and damage. Because once something gets contaminated, you can't uncontaminate it very easily. 
start off you just want to turn the turn the nozzle on this thing to on and you just want to give it a few squirts on the on the uh, drivetrain all over you want to get the mech and what i do i pull it down like this and spray it in just getting it in there really good and nice after you've done that you want to grab this thing this tool works magic for your drivetrain you just want to really get in there just scrubbing that solution in everywhere just getting it all through there removing gunk see as you can see there there's just gunk everywhere so you'll be surprised on how much you get off of this is your first time doing it this is an often neglected part of bike cleaning but i really think it's probably the most important because your drivetrain is really what what makes your bike a bike really right so after you've done that for a bit you want to cycle the chain back like this with with the brush in there like that i can't really film it but just with a few repetitions you can really see how much gunk is there eh? like look at that stuff on my finger all just sort of old lube and just all that nasty stuff just ruining your drivetrain after this you should be shifting nice and smoothly if you weren't before but don't forget after you've done this you will need to re-lube this and i'll show you how to do this at the end and the way i do it to make my bike run really smooth all right so once you've wet it you just want to remove the tea towel or towel covering the disc it'll probably be quite wet just like you because i'm pretty wet now from the hose all right so as you can see after we've degreased it it looks quite clean but it, it really wasn't if you look at this tea towel i'll just put it up there there's mud grime grease grit all over it just from washing it off and there's probably still more on there it's really greased up you might need to do this a couple of times and you might need to get a tool such as this to really get inside the bearings of the chain and now dry dry your bike off completely and we'll move on to the third step which is protecting and this will probably make your bike look really nice give it a really nice finish shiny finish as well as putting a little sort of coat over it protecting it but all right so for the bike protection i'm using bike protect you can also use mo94 it's a greasing agent as well as it makes your bike look quite nice but this stuff here puts sort of like a coat over your bike to make sure not as much mud gets on it and make it shine you i can see the shine but i don't know about the mud thing but that's what they say so you just want to grab a tea towel or a towel whatever you've got just and then you just want to fold it up fold it up like this fold it up into about about a hand size and then you just want to spray a bit spray a bit of this stuff shake it up and just just sort of just do a little amount because this stuff if it gets on your rotors it will contaminate them pretty badly i've known from experience it does happen right so once you get to the bike you want to focus on the big bits first so the frame the frame is the main one just really sort of rubbing it around the shock do the shock as well it doesn't do any harm to the shock it'll probably make it smoother if anything handlebars as well and you just want to forks you just want to go around the whole bike just giving it a good rub just making it look really shiny and giving it that nice finish all right so that wraps up what we're going to do outdoors i'll take you indoors for just the last quick step and this is very crucial so don't click off now all right so now it's pretty obvious we're back inside and now for the last step lube right so it's about summertime so i'm going to pick dry lube but if you're going into winter choose wet lube it's just gonna be a lot better for your drive train and stop all the gunk from getting in there my technique is what i do is i is i like to put one drop on every link like so and i'll just rotate it back like that every time it is tedious but it gets the job done well so yep that's the finished product yeah so thank you very much for 200 subscribers once we reach 500 we're going to do something very special up on our tracks if you've got any video ideas that you want us to make in the future just put them in the comment section down below